Hi, Mark here from Toro Tamer. Uh, in this little video, we'll briefly show how to uh, rig up an inline uh, leader setup. Um, this is typically done if you've got a good hollow braid on your reel. Uh, we're going to use a latch needle, reverse latch needle, our hollow threading needle. You can see how the latch opens up. We try and make our latch a little bit stiffer you know, than what's been on the market. Uh, great idea. Our points also are a little unique in that they are polished and they're more tapered you know, than what's been on the market. And that's a two-edged sword, as we can talk about a little bit later. You know, first thing we'll want to do you know, with our leader you know, is to go ahead and use a little emery board you know, and round down you know, the edge which has been cut. You know, it should be a little bit sharp and pointy. You know, we'll want to smooth that out a little bit using the file. You know, then once that's done, you know, we'll insert you know, the end of that you know, leader into you know, the hollow threading needle. Now, again, you know, this is something you'll do you know, when you're simply doing an inline rig on your reel you know, with you've got the, the appropriate hollow braid. You know, the other aspect that you'll use this technique with is simply making any sort of wind-on leader. You know, so it becomes kind of bread and butter for you. Um, once that line is inserted you know, into the appropriate size needle, and I mean appropriate size, you want that, that needle you're using to be the, the skinniest one that that leader will fit into. If you know, the leader is a good deal skinnier than the needle, you can always put a little bend uh, near the tip of that line. You know, just go ahead and bend it, and that will help keep it inside the needle that much more. Uh, just for the purposes of, of you know, contrast and being able to see what's going on here, I'll use the, uh, the yellow or the high-vis uh, colored uh, hollow braid. Now, the leader we're using uh, is, oh boy, I believe that's either 80 or 100 pound, and the test on that 16-strand braid uh, is also 100 pound. First thing I like to do is to tease that line just a little bit you know, at that uh, point we put the needle in. You know, we go right into the end of the line and again you should use a good pair of braid cutters. Don't use something that will compress that end which makes life harder on you. you know, go ahead and use a pair of scissors, um, braid scissors that are specifically made for that and only use them on the braid to keep them sharp. They'll last longer and even then if you use these, if you make up a lot of leaders, you know, you'll wind up replacing those cutters uh, every year or so. You know, at least I do, because you know, I do a lot of rigging back home, making wind lines. You can see how easy the 16 strand is to thread in there. It just it, it flows in quite easily. With the polished point, that certainly helps that process. Now, the downside with the polished point, you know, if there really is one, is that it, it, since the point is more pronounced and it is polished, it can slip through you know, those strands a little more easily than a blunt point would. But the advantages of being able to make it through an obstruction or, or easily slide through a skinnier line you know, are, really outweigh any negatives. And that's the reason why we produce them that way. We did a couple of things differently you know, with our needles. We made the latches a little bit harder to open up uh, than has been the case. You know, that means they'll, they'll stay, they'll, they'll, you have a greater likelihood of them staying closed if you make the mistake of backing up. Now once I bring that, that needle through the line, I'll pinch it you know, as I just did. I pinched it back there right behind the end of the needle. You know, the point of the needle, you know, I'll go ahead and bring on out, uh, leaving the line inside that leader. And if, if a little bit of the leader goes outside the braid, then all you have to do is just go ahead and push the line back up so you can bury you know, the end of that leader inside of your braid. That's what I'm doing here. I'll just go ahead and push up uh, just enough to go ahead and cover that point. Now, if, you, if you're pulling on the line at this point, you know, you know, pull on the line, pull on the braid, you know, pull on the leader, pull on the braid, it's not going anywhere. The heavy lifting is being done uh, by that leader, which is inserted into the braid. As you pull the braid tight, it's gripping uh, that leader. Um, that's great under pressure, but when you don't have that pressure, uh, you're going to you're gonna be able to pull that leader right on out. So let's say if you're fighting a fish, you know, on the pump you've got pressure, on the wind you don't have as much pressure, you'll have a little instant where there's none, and that's the time when you're going to lose your leader. So we have to do something else uh, at this termination point between the leader and the braid. Now that could be a Sato crimp, that could be a serve, but in this instance we're going to do a, a 
three nail knots uh, and use the adhesive and that's all. Now I'm using a real expensive uh, clamp system here, uh, no $200 job. This is a pretty simple little couple of little clamps mounted on uh, some wood I got for free. To do the serve, uh, I'll use a, a 20 pound or 30 pound uh, four strand line. I like going with the multicolor, you know, little 100 meter spools we've rigged up. You know, you know, in different colors, it's good to, uh, you know, for me to help identify which test is which. The other products that I like to use an awful lot is that eight strand hollow. You know, the eight strand hollow we produce in a 30 and a 40 pound. You know, and I'll use those typically for my serves, you know, it, where I want to keep that profile down. Since that, that white line uh, is a hollow, it lays down flatter. You can get more wraps uh, on your serve in a given amount of space. And I consider that a real plus. It's a nicer product to work with being eight strands than is the four strand uh, product. That four strand product though for this application is just dandy. And the multicolored aspect to it you know, is great for identifying your leaders. You, know, you could have one color for one test, another color for another. I tend to do a lot of that now, even with those little leader uh, spools, or not leader spools, but the small 25 meter spools at the 16 strand, doing those in colors is another way of helping to remember. Now, I made a little tool out of a, a broken rod, but you can use a, you know, file down part of an ink pen, uh, you know, old plastic big pen or something. Uh, a nail knot is commonly uh, done using a nail, funny thing, uh, or even a soda straw. Yeah, but this little tool I made with a notch on the end makes life easy. You know, basically, you run the line you know, through that little tube, and then I make five to seven winds around the line. And then I will pull those loops. You know, once I'm, I put that braid back underneath all those loops, here we go, we'll go ahead and poke that down on through. Once I do that, I'll pull her tight, pull it off my tool onto just the braid, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and tighten it down, tighten those coils down towards the end. And I'll go, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch or so, you know, from the end at that point. And then, using a, a couple of pieces of doweling, you know, you want to pull that nail knot tight. Um, on a white line, you'll see it go about basically translucent uh, if you, when you pull it hard. And you'll see a little color change uh, to the braid uh, on that knot. That means you've gotten it down there tight enough, you know, tightly enough. Um, you got to make that point, you know, pretty tight. And then, you know, you never want to leave it with one system. You know, I do three nails typically. I'm not doing a nub knot on this one. You know, um, that a nub knot is another way of doing that. And, and what a nub is is simply doing a nail knot on the leader, then pushing your braid over the leader, and then doing your three nail knots between that nub and that, that transition point between the leader uh, and the braid. Um, that nub connection is a great one you know, for big fish, but frankly, you know, for 60 pound on down, all I'm doing are nails. You know, I'll do three nails and the adhesive and call it a day, and that's worked out just fine. Now, one point again, yeah, on any line, once you've taken some good fish, you're going to have some stretch of the leader. You know, and at that point, you know, any of your connections are going to be weaker than they started out you know, because that line diameter has changed. You know, so you know, if, just like you, know, you should do anyway, once you've caught a few good pr fish in a day, go ahead and change your top shot or change your leader. Um, you, you really have to. You know, we've had some people even with wind ons that try and catch, you know, multiple big fish. That's not what they're made for. You know, if you're going cow hunting, I'd say it's one fish per wind on that's time to break out something else. You know, but here we go with the, the triple nails. You know, again, I just gave that a pull. Yeah, okay, we're going to go ahead and use the dowling even better. You know, you know. And once you've got your three nails down, you know, we'll put a little of adhesive you know, on those three spots, and that's it. That just secures that transition. Now, one one little quick point. You know, I've been hearing about another glue you know, that's on the market. You know, I worked the Fred Hall show out here, you know, March of 2015, just finished that one up last week. And they were making a little bit of noise saying that all you have to do is use their wonderful glue, stick your, your leader inside the braid by 6 to 12 inches, use their glue, and that's all you have to do. You know, in maybe a, a perfect world, 
that's going to be true with with any of the good glues out there. I'm not talking about a basic super glue, but any of the good glues you know, that are made you know for this type of use. Um, that's putting all your eggs in one basket, and you know that's not exactly conservative. And while that may work you know, for a fish or two, long term it's not going to work. You know, simply put, you know, I talked to Tommy on the Red Rooster, saw him last week, and some of the guys were using that other product on the charter, going for big fish, and they were all heartbroken. You know, it did not work for them. They came undone. Be conservative. You know, you stick your leader up there three feet or more inside the braid, and then do two or three things depending upon the line test you're using to secure it. Glue, nail knots, and or a nub, that's a good way to go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.